Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is July the 9th, 2019, and I wanted to give you an update on how the uh, garden is doing. Now, um, this is the other garden. Um, I haven't got down to see the hollow garden for a little bit, but um, I know uh, we have been harvesting tomatoes from down there. So um, I wanted to show you the other garden here. This is our red acre cabbage here. And here's our broccoli here. We've been harvesting uh, broccoli off of here. Back there's our Brussels sprouts. There's a white cabbage butterfly, which we have been trying to deal with those. Um, this one here has a little bit of a nutrient deficiency. We're still working on fixing that. See the Brussels sprouts. Over there you have the corn patch. And here we have more cabbage. Um, I grew the uh, late flat Dutch cabbage and I also grew a Brunswick cabbage. Um, I can't see the tags right now. That's a lone corn stalk that uh, happened to um, either the seeds fell out or something happened that we came up on its own there. So we'll just pollinate this one here by hand. There's some more cabbage heads here. Over here is our cauliflower. We've been harvesting cauliflower off and there's a cabbage that got mixed up and stuck in there accidentally. Some of our broccoli plants, they are starting to shoot the little side shoots off for us. Um, over here are our uh, Blue Lake green beans. That's our favorite green beans to grow. And they are blossoming for us. Over here we have our zucchini and our squash that was just picked. Now we are having an issue where we're down on our pollinators. So um, we did lose a lot of squash, a lot of baby squash. So um, we had to get out with the paintbrushes and just start pollinating the stuff ourselves. See the corn there? That's the uh, Providence Triple Sweet Sweet Corn that we grew this year. And I did do a video for how to start that from seed. Um, I do have videos on my channel for how to start your squashes, zucchini, um, your green beans, uh, all your cold season vegetables from seed. So you can check those out on my channel. These are our uh, Dutch Heirloom Crooknut Pumpkins. Now that's a variety that's been passed down through our uh, family there. We are going to be adding some uh, vegetable spaghetti squash out here. And you can see the green beans here. And these are some later potatoes that we put in. Back here are my uh, birdhouse bottle gourds. They're just growing away now. Those bloom at night, so um, like your moss and stuff will pollinate those. Sometimes you'll see like in the morning where they'll still be open. So you can go ahead and pollinate them up. But um, usually the moss do a nice job on those. You can see the uh, squash here. There's still some on. They were just harvested some off of them today. And a big zucchini plant in there. I got a, uh, I got a new cookbook for um, cooking with uh, fresh vegetables. So I'm looking forward to trying a... Uh, recipe that they have in there for a zucchini cake with um, orange frosting. So I've never heard of that before and um, we have enough zucchini off that I should be able to make it soon. And uh, we put in some late cucumbers. Um, we had to hold them for a while so they're not 
too thrilled with being out here in the garden. They're, we'll have to wait and see what they do. I'm going to be planting more in the greenhouse because the ones in the greenhouse so far, um, I've harvested over five pounds of cucumbers out of the greenhouse. See here, that's the big zucchini plant in there. See our little baby squash down in there. And this is an update on the tomatoes. Now we did put a fence up and we tied our tomatoes up. And we put down some eggshells for uh, to help prevent blossom end rot. And we're still feeding them with uh, the Epsom, the Epsom uh, tomato tone. They just got fed with that. So you can see here how tall they got and how much they grew since the heat finally came. We had a cold start here in Pennsylvania to our uh, growing season. But um, we were really skeptical at first on these straw bales. But so far we're really liking the results that we're seeing. We have um, tomatoes hanging on. And we did prune the uh, bushes up some to... Uh, get a nice airflow to them. Now these are not the uh, determinate tomatoes, these are indeterminate tomatoes, meaning they give over a long season. Your determinate tomatoes, you're best to just leave those alone and uh, let them go so that they don't, you don't accidentally prune off the wrong thing and then wind up losing your whole harvest or uh, losing some of your fruit off. So these here are the uh, Walla Walla onions. See here, this is one of the Walla Walla onion bulbs. And you can see some of the tomatoes from the other side here. There's our park whoppers there. And uh, I think most of our tomatoes have tomatoes hanging on them. This is the uh, potato bin. Now most of these potatoes in here are about done. So um, we've been harvesting potatoes out of here. And uh, we started eating them. We're going to have some of those tonight with supper and squash. And um, potato squash, onions. Over here are our red beets. We harvested a bunch of red beets out of here. And uh, we made pickled red beets out of them. And we are going to be planting some more red beets. So um, I plan on doing a video on how to start those from seed. This is the onions here. Now these, some of these were sets. These here were uh, onion sets here. And then in between uh, were the onion seedlings. So um, we've been harvesting a lot of onions out of here to start using them for cooking and different things. You can see there's a nice big bulb back there. And you can see down along here. So they're developing really nice for us this year. Um, we're really concerned about all the rain that we had had a very wet year this year and we were really concerned about all of the rain. A bunch were just harvested out of here for supper tonight. And these are some of the carrots here. Now we've been harvesting carrots out of here. They have really nice carrots on them. And uh, this is the cosmic purple carrot here. Beautiful uh, purple carrot. It's orange on the inside. Really sweet flavor to it. Um, I love the flavor of these. It's one of my favorite carrots to grow. And it is an heirloom. I wanted to show you some of these onions here real quick from a different angle.
so um, that concludes the tour of this vegetable garden here so if you like my video please like comment subscribe please don't forget to hit the little notification button all times I put a new video on you can also follow me on Twitter I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day bye